this is a project we're just completing called Driftwood. Um, and this project, we've added a lot of extras to. So, I mean, if you look up above, you can see we have 12 operable skylights. This is where we actually added five inches and this whole body sits five inches higher up inside. So it's great when people are taller to get that extra clearance. We've created a heavier top than what is typical on an Airstream. Um, it's a great way of just kind of making everything a little bit more durable. Now, the other thing we've added to this is we've added a hitch. Now, obviously you're not gonna tow a trailer behind a trailer. This hitch is designed to hold a bike rack or if someone wants to put a cooler tray on the back, it's perfect for that. All right, we decided to do a front kitchen on this. And part of the reason for doing that is it allows you to have somebody in the kitchen without having other people using the trailer having to squeeze past them. We have a two, two burner melee cooktop. We went to a more traditional latch, kind of almost a marine latch on our cabinets instead of the standard push button latch. Our tanks we put underneath the sink. So in here you can see our hot water tank, our water filtration, water pump. We kind of utilize this space to get a lot of our systems in instead of taking up other valuable space. We have a Dometic fridge that's built in, fridge freezer combo. Um, if you look up above your head here, you can see up here that we put in, here's some of these skylights. So these are all operable skylights. And with the split of a switch, you can open them all up and let in that natural light in here. Now this couch is all custom built. This is a nice, beautiful leather couch. It's super soft and comfortable. But underneath this couch, is actually where a lot of the magic happens. So this trailer actually has 600 amp hours of battery storage. This is gonna enable them to operate off grid for approximately three to five days. Depending on if it's really cold and they're using their tank heaters, it's gonna wear down a lot quicker, obviously. But overall, it's got a lot of juice to the system. So this dinette here is a little bit different. Um, this dinette, this table drops, these cushions fill in the space. You can kind of see in here. We have an area that a crib rail drops into across here, and this becomes a crib. So this is our control center. And in here we have our solar charge controller, our hot water heater, our tank monitors. Here's the switch for our inverter to turn off and on our inverter. This switch here controls our Wi-Fi. So we can turn it on and it'll turn on the Wi-Fi Ranger up above. In here, we kept most of the storage open as much as possible. But underneath here, you can start looking at our systems where we have our automatic transfer switch and some of the electrical that we may need to access. And then down here is where we have our electrical panel. So in here you have all your 110 switches as well as all your low voltage fusing. So you can see the skylights in here, which really gives this bathroom a real kind of wide open feel. This is what we call a wet bath. So you have the shower that's great for someone over six foot. I'm not, but it's really good for those who are. We've done weather stripping on all of our doors. So these doors are all sealed. Now this whole floor is a is a drain so you can shower on here the water drains down runs down and through the floor so this whole bathroom is a wet bath there's nothing in here that you can't get wet and we didn't want to forget about the bedroom so we actually made sure we got some skylights in the bedroom as well the bedroom we wanted to we have a bit of our systems back here as well. So we have our furnace located down under the bed. It's not always my first option, but sometimes you run out of places to put things. Um, but we did want to utilize storage in the bed. So in here is where you see we have our, our crib rails for the baby. So that simply compresses down. 
then you have your bed. So you don't have to on-make your bed or anything else to access it.